life images of her story. Catherine is important because she was born during the time of pandemic, just like now we are facing coronavirus, Black Death. During the time of Black Death, she was born and all her childhood, almost seven years, she was raised during the time of pandemic. Catherine is a patron saint for sick people because she lived during the time of great calamity of the world, Black Death, which killed almost 70 to 200 million people in Europe and North Africa. Catherine is one of the ancient saints. She died at the age of 33, who died as a young person. During the time of Catherine, church was in a difficult situation. Pope relocated to Avignon. It was in the territory of France. And it is said, because of Catherine, Catherine's intervention, her uh, request, Pope Gregory XI, he moved again to Rome. So this is a famous story where it is said, Catherine requested Pope and brought Pope and papacy to Rome. Catherine was selected as an ambassador to represent Florence and she goes to Pope in Avignon. After two years, in 1378, Pope Urban VI sends her from Rome to Florence to have a peace between Rome and uh, Florence. That's how Catherine comes and settles in Rome assisting Pope, Cardinals and Bishops. Last two years of her life, she lived in Rome during the time of Western Schism, where two, three people called themselves as Popes. Catherine persuaded all the Cardinals for the unity of the Church. In 1380, at the age of 33, she died and she was buried in Rome. We will go to the tomb of Catherine. Her tomb is in, in the church of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva, which is near the Pantheon. Yes, we reached Pantheon, very close to the church of uh, St. Catherine. We came to the church of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva where we have the tomb of St. Catherine. There is a famous story about uh, uh, burial of uh, St. Catherine. When she died in Rome, in uh, 1380, at the age of 33, Pope wanted her to be buried in uh, in Rome. We are in the church of Saint Mary of Sopra Minerva, and uh, she was buried here. Her body was here, and after a few days, people of Siena. The name St. Catherine of Siena means she was born in Siena. Siena is uh, one of the Italian city, uh, nearly two, three hours journey by road from Rome. People of Siena wanted to take her body to her birthplace. But the Romans 
don't want to give her body so one fine day a group of uh, people came from siana and uh, they somehow wanted to smuggle the body of the saint but they know it is difficult they will be caught and if they are caught they will be sentenced and they will end up their life in prison so what they have did they opened the tomb and uh, they cut the head they separated the head from the body and they put body of siana in a basket and started going to siana when they reached the check post in the outskirts of rome roman guards stopped them and uh, they are in danger when roman guards stopped her they started praying to siana catherine catherine we know that you want us to take your head if you too want same thing do some miracle because by that time in her tomb lot of miracles were happening and she is already very famous for that and when the guards roman guards opened the uh, bag they found only rose petals instead of head of catherine so by that it is confirmed that catherine also uh, wished to go to a birth place so that's why this is a unique saint her body is here in rome the whole body and her head which is incorruptible it is kept in uh, san domenico uh, in the cathedral church in siana so her head is in siana her body is in the uh, in this church let us go to the altar okay, okay. Uh, let us go to the altar and uh, let us pray and uh, seek her prayers especially because she is the patron saint for the sick people and especially difficult times like times we are now in pandemic let us pray to her that through her intercession we may receive the whole world may receive the healing let's go